So hi guys, my name is Rachel, for those of you who don't know me, and I talk about fashion, beauty and lifestyle on this channel. Today I'm back with my top 10 fall, autumn, winter, whatever you want to call it, fragrance. And these are my top 10 fragrances. So they are not my top 10 of all time, but just the ones I'm loving right now for this season and I want to share with you. So the prices range from low, from as cheap as £20 up until somewhere in the 200 No, I think one. One is in the 200 plus price point, but it's only one, but the rest of them are quite affordable. So yeah, I'm going to show you the fragrances I love. Unfortunately, before I was trying to read out the notes, but that was on my phone and I'm now recording on the actual phone, so I can't read your notes, but they will be hovering somewhere in the video, the notes that are in the fragrances. I'm going to describe them as best as I can. I'm not a fragrance connoisseur, I'm not a perfume babe like that, like I really don't know the in-depth of fragrances, you know what I mean? But I know enough to get you to know the gist and feel of the fragrance. So yeah, bear with me as we do this erratic fragrance feature because even me recording right now I'm just losing the will. But we're gonna get this video done. We're gonna get the video done. So just before we get into the video, if you haven't already, please subscribe and like this video and comment down below which fragrance you love the most or you're going to try out this video. I am almost at 1,000 subscribers, I think we're on 900 right now, and it would mean the world to me if you would subscribe. So hit that subscribe button and join this ever-growing family. It would mean the world to me. And with that, now let's get into the video. So the first fragrance I'm going to talk about that I'm loving for this season is the infamous Jaga Food by Swiss Arabian. First of all, can we talk about this packaging, this bottle? This person has featured on my channel so many times for recommendations or in fragrances. Like, it's just a great, great, great fragrance. This is probably my most powerful fragrance. I believe so. Like, it's a very, very potent, very um, strong. Like, this projects like no other. It will kick in your face. You do not need anything more maximum than three sprays. If not, you're gonna knock yourself out so just be cautious when you are spraying this because it's not one of those tss, 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 no 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 honey you will literally knock yourself out and you'll knock everyone else around you out so two to three sprays is just enough um and yeah it's such a beautiful sweet food a lot of people have compared this to the lancome and the Chet, which i have smelled before and i personally didn't like it but this i love and i have heard that people prefer this over Lancome's Oud Bouquet because this obviously is not as expensive as that one and the notes just tend to, <clears throat> the fragrance tends to stay the same on the um, skin whereas the Oud Bouquet develops as time goes by but because this is a bit cheaper I think there isn't as much um, organic materials in this the scent pretty much stays the same it doesn't really develop much from when you first initially spray it but I love that about it because I love the initial spray and I just love the continuous and the continuous of that scent throughout the day. And again, great, great unisex perfume, so beautiful, just so great for the winter time and the autumn time. I wouldn't want this at summertime because it's very, very um, strong, very potent, has great projection. But again, with the heat, I don't know if you're gonna like that combination. So this is why I recommended this heavily for the winter and autumn time because you wanna feel warm, you wanna feel wrapped up in a cocoon and this fragrance does just that. And again, it is an amazing, inexpensive oud. I picked this up from Amazon. Like you can't beat this price of a stick. There are so many ouds going up for so, so, such ridiculous prices. And oud is a very expensive um, ingredient. I do know that. But if you can get that, that you know, feel for less, why not? So definitely. <laughs> Cut the camera. Cut. The next cup I'm going to talk about is Universal Oud from Zara. I love this fragrance. This is this my newest perk? Yes, it's my newest, newest, newest fragrance pick. Um, I'm just not with it. I'm just not with it. So the next fragrance I want to talk about is Universal Oud from Zara. I picked this up recently, like this is my most recent purchase. 
Uh, well, I didn't pick up my friend. Can you get to this to me? Thank you, Chanel, for watching. <coughs> so my friend kind of gives this to me and I've seen a lot of hype about this fragrance and I must say, it definitely is worth the hype. It is a dupe, I believe, for Christian Dior in Isfahan. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, there's already a lot of designer dupes and this is definitely a dupe of that one in my opinion. And just a gorgeous oud. For Zara's first oud, I believe, I think it's their first oud fragrance. They've done a very, very, very good job. It is really sexy in my opinion. It is called Universal Oud, but to me, it is great on male or female. It doesn't mean to me more masculine or more, more feminine. It's just a great, stunning oud. I do like to lay this fragrance with um, something sweet, for example, Sweet Diamond by um, Kayali. Something that's just has a sweet gourmand scent to it because I can find the dried on this is a bit bitter for me. Um, and I, okay, because it is Zara and it is lacking depth, the actual fragrance, I do think it needs something to be added to it. So just bear that in mind. But again, it's £20 for Zara's first food. I think it's amazing. It does give you all the rich antibiotics, which I'm here for always. But yeah, for £20, you can't really this with a stick. And if you are trying to get to ooze without breaking the bank, definitely try this or the other ooze I talk about in this video. The last oud I'm going to talk about is Barak Oud by a brand called Al Anique. I. Oof, this scent. It is again a sweet. I believe in this, um, in this bottle there is vanilla. And I think anything with vanilla in, I just love. But vanilla mixed with oud. Ooh, like this does something to me. Like everyone I have made smell this absolutely loves this like they cannot get enough of it they actually prefer it over shadow food if i'm being honest like everyone i have made smell this prefers this over shadow food so i would personally say if you're wondering which one to get out of the two get power food actually it's just been tried and tested it's not as strong as shadow food so if you're someone who doesn't like you know fragrances to punch in your face and for everyone to smell you then maybe don't get shadows oud, but this is a great, great, great oud. It was a blind buy, I had never smelled it before, and I saw the reviews and everyone was raving about it. So I picked up Farrah oud and I do not regret it. So definitely, if you can, get your hands on this. It was from Amazon again. Very, very affordable again, in my opinion, like 30 pounds or under. So for me, if you're trying to um, get into ouds, these are great. The options I've just sent to you, the options I've just told you about are just great because they're not um, expensive and you can afford to not like them compared to some other houses where if you buy them blind buy you literally feel nauseous if you don't like it because it's so expensive. So yeah, I love this. So the next fragrance I'm going to talk about is YSL Black Opium Intense. This is the intense version. Now I picked this up in 50ml and Black Opium is such a legendary scent like i think most perfume lovers or fragrance fanatics have this um this is the intense version i used to have the old version not the old version but the just standard black opium um version but i wanted something different and i heard a lot about the intense and to me this smells very similar but it's just how it's on my skin personally when i can tell the difference and the story behind this which i believe i have shared is I tested this out in boots and a lady, and on the back of my hand, and a lady walked past me and could spin it and chased me and was like, what are you wearing? Like, she was chasing me with her kids like, excuse me, stop, what are you wearing? And I was like, okay, if you love it like this for me, then I'm gonna try it because for me, I'm very big on compliments with my fragrances. That's like the best thing you can tell me. Tell me I'm beautiful, cool. Tell me you love how I smell made my day so yeah when she chased me down because of this scent i said yeah i got bad this because clearly it goes well with my body chemistry so that's the story behind this one and i just feel like the intense version is definitely unique um if you are bored of black opium maybe try the intense version you might like it i love any fragrance that's intense it just projects more lasts longer and i do feel like this lasts a long time on me i felt like the original black opium lasts a long time on me as well but this just slight um, it, it's just a, just a more longevity for me and yeah great scent again the notes would be somewhere in this video and yeah definitely would recommend Black Opium Intense if you're kind of bored of the original Black Opium and want something new in your collection so now I'm going to talk about my oh, 
Chef's Kiss, the, the most expensive perfume in my collection. This is Santa Noir. Oof. This scent. This scent. From the first day I smelled this perfume, I said I have to have it. It is still my favorite fragrance in my entire collection. Like, to me, it's very great for autumn, winter time because it projects like no other. I know I talked about my Swiss Arabian and Shadow Food, but this is probably a close number two when it comes to projection and longevity. This lasts, do you know what? Shadow Food projects more, but this lasts on my clothes and on me more than any perfume I have. And I'm glad it does because it is the most expensive, but it lasts on my skin for ages. Like if I didn't shower, I feel like it would last on my skin like three days. That's just me imagining that because I don't ever go that long much shower. <laughs> but I can just imagine it does because this thing, it does not move. Like you can smell this on you throughout the entire day strongly, not like, you know, like you have to really smell yourself to get whiffed of it. No, you will smell this on you throughout the whole thing. And it's on your clothes. Oh yeah, this is all you're going to be. <laughs> this is all, all you're going to be smelling. So yeah, you don't need a lot of sprays of this. And again, it is expensive, so don't spray too much. But, honey, you're going to be that it girl. I get so many compliments on Santa Noir. Did I even say the name? I get so many compliments on Santa Noir by Christian Dior, and yeah, I love this scent. This is my favorite scent to this day. Get your get yourself down to Harrods or Suffrages or Harvey Nichols and smell the Christian Dior private line. Like, ooh, those perfumes are absolutely beautiful. And Santa Noir is that girl. It smells so unique. I don't hear a lot of people talking about this scent, which is fine because we all love to smell unique. I mean, all of our favorite perfumes and having them to ourselves. But I'm a lover of sharing things. So sharing is caring. Go into more Santa Noir and thank you later. So the next thing I want to talk about is Al Anique Rouge. This is a dupe for Baccarat 514 and a great one at that. I know there are so many dupes on the market like Ariana Grande Cloud, but this to me is a much better dupe and it's just, it's just gorgeous. Like, it does what it needs to do. It's it's just, if you want Baccarat 540, but you don't want to spend the price tag, just add this to basket. <laughs> just add it to basket and thank me later. I picked this up from Amazon as well. Really inexpensive. This was under 30 pounds or 30 quid, I can't really remember. But around that mark, not expensive, not even a fraction of the price of the Baccarat one. So yeah, if you're not quite ready to spend hundreds of pounds on the Baccarat 540, and definitely get your hands on this one. But yeah, Alanique Rouge Chef's Kiss. Loving this during this season because just again, it projects really well. It makes me feel warm and cozy. And it's a beautiful, beautiful scent that gets a lot of compliments. And for me, during winter time, I love my fragrances to project. If they're not projecting, if people can't smell them, if they're not making me feel cocoon like wrapped in that scent, I'm not really here for it because it's cold and we want to feel warm from whether it's our fragrance or the clothes we're wearing. So yeah, Alanic Rouge is your girl. Now, another Zara fragrance I'm going to be talking about is Ebony Woods. I've had Ebony Woods for over a year. May not look like it because I haven't really dented it, but I'm now coming back to loving it, especially because there has been a lot of hype about this fragrance recently from YouTubers and Instagram um, influencers. And I smelled this again, I was like, yes, it, Ebony Wood is really that girl. This was a collab by um, Jo Malone and Zara called Zara Emotions. And this is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful scent. And it does remind me of a scent that Jo Malone has actually created for her actual store. Wait, I don't know if Jo Malone, jo Malone actually works for the brand Jo Malone anymore. If she sold that off and doesn't have anything to do with it. However, there is a fragrance which I will be showing you next which reminds me of that one. But yeah, Ebony Woods is a gorgeous, beautiful, oh, how do I describe it? There's, it smells like there's pomegranate in it. I'm not really sure if it is. It's sweet. What else can I do? Obviously it's woody as well. It's just a great, gorgeous perfume. Like, get your hands on it. 
it's under 20 pounds especially with the small bottle and it's great for winter i personally love to wear this to bed i know a lot of people are like bed bed you can wear this out of course it's gorgeous i've got so many compliments on this especially when i wear this out but for the night time i like to feel cozy and something that's not too overpowering and i don't feel like this is too overpowering to spray lightly um i remember i recommended it to a girl to spray going to bed and she loved it it's just a great great scent to wear to bed all the time i believe so yeah, i mainly wear this for going to sleep but you can wear it anytime you want to the gym i wear this to the gym as well a great fragrance to wear to the gym in my opinion as well so bedtime and gym i recommend ebony was for but that's just my opinion you can wear it during the day if you love it as well i do and to the gym is the main time where i wear this scent so yeah ebony wood from zara get your hands on it super affordable it doesn't break the bad. Next fragrance I'm going to talk about is YSL Libra Intense. Ooh, Libra Intense. I've had this for over a year. Such a signature YSL fragrance. Look at the packaging. Look at this bottle. Can we talk about this bottle? Like, gorgeous. YSL Libra. If you haven't got this in your collection already, what are you doing? Run. Run and get this. Get this and tell me what you think. It is such a great like ooh, so gorgeous like so rich smelling like if you're looking for a new YSL fragrance and you haven't smelled this one get this currently I would recommend this over black opium in my opinion that's just my opinion if you love black opium I think you'll love YSL Libra Intense like, that's just my humble opinion and I'm gonna stick to Saka so yeah Go and get your hands on YSL Libra Intense because she's beautiful. As you can see, it's a trend. I love intense fragrances. I love their versions of it. And yeah, it is gorgeous. So the next fragrance I'm going to talk about is Pomegranate Noir from Jo Malone. Now, this reminds me a lot of Ebony Wood. And I personally believe when Jo Malone was um, creating a collection of Zara for Ebony Wood, she was probably inspired by Pomegranate Noir. They give me similar vibes. They're, I wouldn't say they're sisters. I would say they're like cousins. So in terms of similarity, love, love, love the scent. Um, I can smell the pomegranate in it. And like I said, I can smell, was it Ebony Wood? You know, I can smell pomegranate. But yeah, I feel like I can smell pomegranate um, in Ebony Wood and of course in this one. Such a gorgeous scent. Definitely had um, wood notes in here. I don't know the exact ones, but again, it'll be on the screen below, the screen somewhere. Just a gorgeous scent. Like, really, really love this perfume. Can't get enough of it. I do wear this to bed as well. I know a German and to bed, but that is just what I do. Um, it gives me the same vibes as Ebony Wood, and I think that's why I love Ebony Wood so much. But yeah, if you want something that lasts a long time, like, if you're someone... Who doesn't mind spending an extra bit of money on fragrance and wants that longevity then definitely get pomegranate noir from um german you're not going to regret it so the last fragrance i'm going to talk about is coco noir from chanel paris oh coco noir is the name <laughs> like that dark central scent i really believe this is what it is obviously it's a the version of coco mademoiselle but um it's the dark noir version like definitely 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 autumn winter appropriate i would wear this to date nights i would wear this um where else would i wear this to i wear this to main date nights i wear this to dinner when i want to feel sensual when i feel dark i want to feel edible and i do lay this with um sweet diamond which was a tip from ikea here on youtube on instagram she's amazing she talks about friends as well and that combination, whew, it is something else. Like she was the main reason why I even bought Coco Noir. So yeah, thank you Ikea if you're watching this. And I love Coco Noir. Very, very dark. If you're someone who's a fan of Chanel Coco Mademoiselle and the Chanel line and you don't have this, what are you waiting for? Go and pick this up. You will not regret it. A lot of women love this perfume. And I finally have this in my collection as well. So yeah, loving her and such a great staple for my autumn beauty collection. So guys, and that brings me to the end of this video. Finally, I hope it's recorded or I'm gonna cry. But thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it wasn't all over the place because I'm all over the place right now because 
it has been a war to get this video done but we've made it to the end thank you guys for watching leave a comment down below which fragrance you love or already have or you're going to try now because of this video remember to subscribe we're on the road to 1k it would mean the world to me if you would subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye my loves